Welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're going to be making a treehouse behind the Chaos Cruise hideaway that is on my forever light island of Honeyland. The original idea was to make it in front of the museum, but it didn't actually fit. The treehouse needed an actual villager house in order to work. So I went ahead and changed my idea and decided to make it of a villager house, which means that I have to do some terraforming. I'll get back to you as soon as I fill that in. Through the magic of editing, we are back. I would have let you see it, except really all I did was fill in a square. And now we're going to place the treehouse pieces over here. The co this custom code was made by someone whose name I can't pronounce, but I will put the custom code here on the screen right here and also down in the description below if you would like it. There's a cute little nest on the crate right there that you can't see right now, but you'll be able to see when I go across and show you from the perspective. And it is super cute. There's also a little owl umbrella that shows through the hole as well. And it's super adorable. I really love this custom code and it was absolute perfection. I just didn't see a need to recreate something that was already basically perfect. You know, you know what I mean, right? Okay, so we're just gonna put these little sky umbrellas on the crates all the way down in order to um, fill in the sky and fill in the holes. From far away, these do look really good. So if, in case you're wondering or in case you're concerned, these look really nice from far away. So I do like the way they turned out. Um, yeah, that's it. It's not an owl, it's a, it's a critter, critter, it's a squirrel. My bad, I'm so sorry about that. I was totally wrong. And I do look at this every day too, so that just goes to show how well I pay attention. We're gonna be building this cliff up in order to put a villager's house here. I've decided since this is um, overlooking the Chaos Crew hideaway, I'm going to put all of the worst villagers up here in this tree house so that I don't really have to do with them, deal with them too much. I just got Voldemort's photo. So she's actually going to be leaving her confinement here in the tree house and starting her journey somewhere else in the void. I'm not going to adopt her out. I really don't care for her enough to do all of that. But yeah, we're going to we're going to go ahead and get rid of her. She can just go. I'm done with her, really. So this is the part where April gets a little neurotic and starts placing custom codes under things that probably no one will ever see. And I'm going to just apologize to you for this. I have this really terrible tendency of just placing custom codes under things, especially on cliffs. No one's going to go looking up on that cliff. I'm pretty sure. And here I go doing it anyway. It I guess it just doesn't matter to me. Um, so yeah, I wanted some windmills up on that cliff. I don't even know if you can actually see them now that the build is done. I don't think that they're even visible, but I guess if anyone goes running across the back of my island, they might see them, possibly. I don't know. I'm gonna finish terraforming this up and then I will get back to you in just one second. Okay, so through the magic of ad editing, poof, we are done. And I'm going to place down the last of the custom codes up top. And I had a harder time placing these ones because it was harder to get them lined up. I did play around with these trees quite a bit before I finally settled on a final resting place for them. And then I just placed down a custom code and put down some fake trees because I did still want to fill this area in. I wanted it to look quite natural by her house. I don't think that the teddy bear is going to stay, actually. Um, I believe that's jump something that I put for the meantime just to see if it would work. And I don't actually think it did in the end but we will we'll see it'll be as much of a surprise to you as it is or to me as it is to you and then we do need to put voldemort's house down so i'm going to mark off where i want her house to go so we can go ahead and place her right over here uh, i think that ended up working out pretty good as far as the custom codes go but of course i had to run around and look and make sure that it worked out with everything I'm also going to take away the side of the cliff. I don't think I'm going to give her an incline. I think I'm just going to give her a ladder, but we shall see. We'll see what, what we're going to do with that. I'm not exactly sure yet. I did end up extending this cliff out just a little bit. It just worked out a little bit better that way. 
And then I put the gyroid back, which is kind of funny because you can't really see it too much. But you know what? He made me feel better by being there. So we're just going to leave him. He's fine. And then I stuck a bush back there, which I don't know why, because you can't actually see it. It's behind a tree. And then I moved these trees around again and this custom code, because why? Why wouldn't I? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this yet again and place everything down. I wasn't I'm not exactly sure where the placement for all of this was supposed to be. I did test it out a couple times. I don't think that this was it. We ended up doing it like one more time. So yeah, it was just quite the adventure getting this all placed down. So when I started making this, I thought it was going to be a pretty quick build because the custom code is self self explanatory. So I did think it was going to be a pretty fast code and it turned out to not be at all not even a little bit it was super unfast like so unfast it's ridiculous and i ended up placing and replacing those standees like over and over and over again it was a little bit redonkulous and that poor teddy bear got placed over and over again but it's fine in the end it all worked out i did stick some jail bars back there because you know uh, we're just imprisoning Voldemort at this point in life. She's just, she's rough anyway, so it's fine. It'll, it'll work out fine. I do need to time travel so we can see what this house looks like when it's placed. Okay, so the house is in and we're going to go ahead and just shape off this cliff. I do want it to be, um, a ladder I don't want there to be any type of incline access to it I am gonna put some trees behind the, the cliff because nature I think would look good here and just a bunch of filler stuff behind it because this really was meant to be a build that looked really good from far away but I'm not really too concerned about how it looks in the back or how it looks close up I, th I do think it came out fine just uh, for the sake of saying but you know it wasn't my main concern when I was building it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and place a cliff tree, a cliff tree. I speak English, a cliff tree right over there. Cliff trees do just make everything a little bit easier and nicer um, to when you want to put a tree in, but you can't quite fit it on the cliff and you don't have enough room. I do recommend just making them on the edge of the cliff like so. And then, um, yeah, the little toe bean does stick over the side, but you can cover that up e pretty easily with items or um, on the other side. I used like a dirt or like I used a plant, I think, or maybe some more trees. I don't know, but you can't really get to it, so you can't really see it too much. And then we're going to place a path leading to the ladder that we're going to put on the side. And then the baobab tree because it takes up a lot of space and it has a lot of height and I needed stuff that was tall back there. And then I'm just going to make a path leading out from here. And yeah, I think we are just about finishing up this build, honestly. Um, just a little bit of a path just to kind of mark off where we're going here. And then I'm going to finish up the top and I will get back to you in just one moment point where Papa Bear lost his home because I wanted something a little more filler like and I was just really trying to fill in that gap in between the house and the trees. It was really bothering me from some re for some reason from far away. So I decided to go with the jail bars and I think that that kind of filled in that space rather nicely from a distance. And there you have it folks. We are done. Hopefully you guys like it. I really love how it came out. It looks super appropriate and great on the hideaway. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you guys so much. I know you guys can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for a little bit. And I appreciate that so much more than I can say. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.